So let's talk about somebody listening to this that is thinking about getting ISO 27001 certified. So let's say they're not yet certified. Uh, yeah. And they began the process, and they started with ISO 27001 colon 2013. Are they hosed? No. They, they, they were hosed more in version one, this version two of that MD26 document. Um, they've got a little bit more leeway. Uh, before, the requirement was that by October 31st, we can't issue any new certs against 2013. Of this year. Right? So what they've done is they pushed that out to April 30th of 2024. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I'd, I'd always heard 30, uh, that October 31st was, the, yeah. was that deadline. So that's actually interesting. Do you think that that really matters that much? Because I think anybody that started the process already probably was already be using 2022 right. guidance. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it depends. I mean, if they started saying in, you know, Q3, mm -hmm. you know, 2022 wasn't technically published yet right so they're, they're going off of what they think right right um but at the same time and you, you probably know and we've had conversations with you know those starting that initial path the recommendation is that even if you started with 2013 transition right now before your certification audit you know so that you don't have to go through that transition audit after you get certified 